So this video is about subspaces and it's not about like uh, really a lot of the analytical or proof based stuff for subspaces, but more kind of to give you a sense of what a subspace is and what we mean by subspace, because it's going to become important as we talk more and more about vector spaces um, and also about linear transformations. So a subspace uh, by definition is a, a vector space V is a subset of the vector space V that is also a vector space. So what that means specifically is, is that if we want to prove that the subspace is a subspace of V, then we need to show that it's closed under addition and closed under scalar multiplication. And I have other videos that show how to do that. Okay. Um, for this purpose, we're not going to get so much into that. We'll see, we'll use it a bit. Okay. And the other piece of information that we're going to use is, is that if a uh, subset of vectors doesn't include the zero vector, then it can't be a, zero, a subspace either. All right. Um, so it's enough. What that means is that it's enough to show that a space does not contain the zero vector to show that it is not a subspace, but it is also means that just having the zero vector doesn't make something a subspace. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to work from these definitions to talk more about, uh, um, to talk about subspaces and how they will specifically relate to our class. Okay. Um, and we're specifically going to discuss dimension and subspaces of, uh, RN and PNR. Okay. Now, when I talk about RN, what I'm talking about is the vectors of RN are all the vectors with N components and each component is a real number. So we represent the vectors of RN as, and these are column vectors, all right? So here's a column vector, or we can also write it as a row vector. For the purposes of chapter four, we're gonna spend a lot more time using the column vectors, all right? Um, because they kind of match up really well with working with matrices, but really in truth, we can actually represent them as either way. Notice there are, since this is RN, there are N components. Okay, there are n components inside of this vector, and we need to know that each one of these v1 through vn are all real numbers. So an example of that would be R2. So in R2, what we have is we have two components, and v1 and v2 both belong to R2, uh, belong to R. Right. So what makes R2 R2 is that it's a, the set of all vectors that have two real valued components. Okay. So what is a subspace of Rn? So a subspace of Rn is a subset of the vectors of Rn that is also a subspace, all right? So for example, is the set S, which is S times 101 plus T times negative 131, ST belonging to R, a subspace of R3, okay? So let's take a look at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in, I'm gonna draw in a picture of this, okay? And so we'll start with 101, so that's one, zero, zero in this direction, and then up one, okay? So all of the scalar multiples of this vector, okay? In three-dimensional space. So let's kind of make that, we'll make it red. Okay, and then also all the scalar, multi scalar multiples of negative one, three, one, okay? So all the scalar multiples of this vector here, okay? And the addition of all those vectors as well, all right? Okay, so basically what we're looking at here, okay, is if I take, I'm gonna basically take this and I'm gonna kind of take all of these vectors here. Here's my reds kind of moving up in the right direction, okay? And then I want to take, we've got some blues, okay? And that's basically kind of moving, all my blues moving in that direction. And so we can also imagine, right? Everything that kind of moves out that way, that way. So what we have is we have a plane. We're gonna end up with a plane, um, in R3, okay? So we'll end up with this plane in R3, okay? 
And what you want to notice is, is notice that this plane does go through the zero zero vector, right? Because we've taken all of these, you know, basically all of these kind of uh, all this, the additions, okay, of one zero one and uh, one negative three one. All right. And one of those happens to be zero times one zero one plus zero times one negative three one. Okay. And so what we get here is we get a plane in R3. So it's a plane in three dimensional space. And what I want you to also notice is, is that it's not the XY plane specifically. So it's not the XY plane. All right. And none of the vectors on that plane are in R2. Okay, so none of the vectors on that plane are in R2. And that's because there's they don't they don't have only two components, right? Every single one of them has a third component. All right? And it's going to be important because there's a common misconception that happens or that occurs whenever we talk about um, uh, subspaces, all right? So what I want to point out is I want to point out about this idea of the dimension of the subspace first. So the dimension of the subspace and the dimension of the parent vector space are not often the same, okay? In fact, oftentimes the dimension of the subspace is going to be less than the dimension of the parent space, okay? Um, and so like in that last circumstance, R3 is three-dimensional. Right, it's got an x, y, and z, uh, um, x, y, and z uh, set of axes, and our subspace, right, the one with s and t here, s, is only two dimensional. So that's a two dimensional subspace of R three. Okay, and so we define the dimension of the subspace based upon how many vectors, right? So like in this case, there's two vectors here. Okay, two vectors that make up or that span the subspace. So since we have two vectors inside of this particular, uh, that define this subspace, it's two dimensional, right? R3 is always gonna be defined by three vectors, and so it's three dimensional. So for example, if we look at T here, T, right, is in R4 because it's one, two, three, four, four components, right? But it's only one dimensional because it's a single vector in R4. So some things to note. All the vectors of S, that, that vector space that I showed you before, or the subspace that I showed you before, are in R3 because it's a the linear combinations of two vectors in R3. So S is a plane in R3. S is not R2, okay, note. S is not the XY plane, and the vectors of S do not have only two components. So you don't say something like the um, vectors of S make up R2. They don't, all right? They don't span R2 either because they're not in R2. They are a two-dimensional subspace of R3, okay? Secondly, T is not R1. T is a line in R4. T is not in R1, T is not the x-axis, and the vectors of T have four, not one component, okay? So even if T was the x-axis, it would still be the x-axis in R4, okay? Even if S, right, our set S was the xy plane, it still wouldn't be R2, it would just be the xy plane in R4, okay? So we want to make sure that we uh, that we make those distinctions very very clear. Now, if we remember P and R, right, the set of polynomials that are second degree polynomials, right? For example, P two R or three P three R nth degree polynomials with real factor coefficients. Does the same hold, right? That if uh, that say for example is P one R not a subspace of P two R, okay? And the answer is no. That's not true actually in this case. So um, it turns out that if we say that x plus 2 is in P and R, then it is actually, right, 0x squared plus 1x plus 2 and x plus 2. So it is second degree and a first degree polynomial 
This means that P1R is actually a subspace of P2R, as every element in P1R is contained in P2R, okay? And P1R is a subset or subspace itself, okay? Meaning that P1R is a vector space and it's contained within P2R. So it's different, right? It's a different kind of idea than the ideas for Rn, right? So just be very careful as to how we define these two spaces, right? How, or how we define these kinds of spaces. The, the spaces of Rn are defined differently than the spaces of PNR, okay? And so consequently, we in the case of Rn, R2 is not a subspace of R4, okay? R3 is not a subspace of R4, right? Or R5, okay? But P1R is the subspace of P2R, okay? So be careful with that because, right, they're defined differently, right? So you get different results. All right, so that kind of uh, finishes up our discussion, this discussion about subspaces. And when we talk about subspaces, we're gonna talk about subsets, okay, of vector spaces, and we define them in terms of the dimension and what they are a subspace of, all right? The number of vectors, right, that make up the subspace or that span the subspace, the minimum number, all right, is the dimension, all right, and the parent space is, well, just depends upon how we define it, okay? And that completes the lecture.